pandemic has really gotten us to think about protecting ourselves from germs. Dr. Bethany Beecham joins us from Brookwood Baptist Norwood Clinic this afternoon. How are you doing, Doc? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. No, it's our pleasure. Thanks for being here. Um, so we're talking about protection against germs. And I guess one of the obvious questions to ask is hand washing or hand sanitizer, which is the better option? Well, I mean, hand washing is always going to be better. Um, we recommend that you wash your hands if there's visible soil or um, before eating and after using the restroom. You want to wash your hands for about 20 seconds, sing yourself happy birthday <laughs> to make sure you've got time there. And then um, if you don't have the opportunity to wash your hands and hand sanitizer with an alcohol content of 60 to 95% can be effective to lower the, the amount of germs on your hands. Yeah, if there's one positive about all this, I got to admit to myself that I've improved with the routines of washing my hands more and using the sanitizer. This is something we want to continue to do even once we get past this, right? Absolutely, absolutely. It helps with, you know, flu, any kind of bacteria that's on your hands, um, even foodborne illness can be uh, decreased by this increased um, sanitation of our hands. Yeah. Now, all of us have our own opinions about masks, but are they really necessary? What do you think? What do you say? Absolutely. Um, masks are absolutely necessary. Um, if you're age two or older, you should be wearing a mask anytime that you're in public, when you're around people that don't live in your household, um, which means even if you're at home and you have guests come over that aren't normally there, you want to wear that mask covering your nose and mouth. Um, and masks work best if everyone is wearing them. So we want to make sure that our friends are reminded to wear their masks as well. Um, but the, the one thing to remember about masks is they're not a substitute for social distancing. So keeping that uh, four to six feet as much as you can, um, not gathering in big groups so that you can keep that social distancing so important, even when you're wearing your mask. Yeah, we've all developed some uh, uh, new habits uh, during this past year, so it'll be interesting to see how long those might carry over. Now, we've started receiving vaccines for those on the front lines and those first responders. Uh, my question to you is, have you been vaccinated yet? I have. I've been lucky enough to receive the Pfizer vaccine. Um, my husband's also a health care provider. We got it on the same day. Mm -hmm. um, he just had a sore arm for about two days. I had a sore arm and some fatigue, had to take a nap, but you know, after two days, we felt completely fine. So, you know, there are some side effects for some people and it's just our immune system actually doing its work and building up that barrier to when we actually get exposed to COVID-19 so that we don't have the, the full blown illness and we don't have maybe, you know, those of us who, are fortunate enough to not end up in the hospital and still have fatigue that goes on for months. So the vaccination is so important, especially for those people who won't be able to be vaccinated. Um, so we encourage everyone to go get their vaccination whenever it becomes available. And I'm excited to get my second vaccination on my birthday, actually. All right, all right. Well, birthday present to yourself. Hey, Dr. Bethany Beach, and we appreciate you joining us today and sharing your experiences, but also trying to help out our viewers as uh, we make uh, and move forward during this pandemic. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.